With little prospect of restoring the stasis system, I'm afraid we have no recourse but to continue participating in Omega's tests. Assuming Midgard Stormer has the right of it, we face a legion of foes from history both real and imagined. Though I may not be the one who charged into the fray, I shall fight beside you as best I know how. That said, it will inevitably fall to you to administer the coup de grace, old friend. So please, for Biggs and Wedge and all of us, don't lose. Also, sorry about that abrupt ending. I thought I had about seven more minutes, and I did not. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. Well, Clyde doesn't mind Omega's tests, as far as I know, so... Initializing, welcome. How may I assist you today? Access the Savage Initiative. What the hell? Beep. Good day, va valued employee. Thank you for always for your tireless efforts. Tell me, are you getting enough rest? Are you sleeping and eating well? Are your eyes not blurry from overuse? Here at the Garland Iron Ironworks, your well-being is our priority. To that end, we have introduced a program to address work-related stress. Dubbed the Savage Initiative, for we must be savage on stress. It adds a touch of relaxation to the daily grind. For its maiden feature, we are pleased to bring you Mending Melodies, songs that soothe body and soul. This particular piece was composed and recorded for our benefit by a minstrel of no small renown. It has been proven to possess potent healing properties and promises to promote happiness as well as stimulate creativity. Please be forewarned, however, that prolonged exposure may overstimulate the imagination, leading to the augmentation of one's memory. It is recommended that you enjoy the song in moderation. With that, I bid you a f fulfilling day of striving for freedom through technology. So, essentially, Savage for Delta Escape is literally, uh, you listen to a calm piece of music from this terminal for too long, and it alters your memories of the fights to be really, really hard. Yeah, kind of, kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Pretty well, pretty well. Care to share your thoughts on this, Chief? Our colleagues on the ground have reported the appearance of mysterious floating structures inside the Yon. If you recall, we were investigating a similar anomaly when Alpha and Alta Roy made their appearance. Mega certainly knows how to get our attention. I blush to recall the eagerness with which we plunged into the abyss, ignorant of the warped gladiatorial contest that awaited us within. But what of a staggering collection of opponents, plucked from the pages of both history and fiction for their ability to pose a threat to Omega? And should you prevail against these interdimensional champions, what then shall be your prize? Why, a battle against the most devastating weapon this world has ever seen? How marvelous! He says, with eyes aflame. For once I wish you were being sarcastic. Anyway, the energy surge, based on our previous experience, it seems highly probable that it is our signal to rejoin the fray. Needless to say, it is an invitation we cannot refuse, not when the alternative is Omega unleashing its creations on Eorzea. Well, Clyde, are you ready to answer the call? Yeah, I'll go kill the robot. Oh, well, you've got Nero. And we got Alpha, so we'll be fine. Oh, Jesse's got something special for him, eh? Maybe it'll be worthwhile. Heh! <laughs> she made him an ironworks outfit. 
Okay, I gotta admit, with with that on, he is like freaking adorable. Unlike you, I can do two things at once. Damn, she she roasted your ass again, Sid. said he wouldn't be caught dead in it, but I mean, he's wearing it, and he's just dyed it red. Peering stones never look so good. This will be my last recording for today. If, if you noticed by the timing of the videos, I pretty much just sat down and started recording for like five hours straight or six hours straight, or however, however many video recordings I've done now. You might think I better, I would be, would be better served by streaming, but I don't have a streaming audience, and also I don't really have a setup for that. I mean, the PS4 can broadcast straight to Twitch, but I'd have to interact with the stream as I stream, and then there'd be like a quality issue with transferring the video over to YouTube and it's already enough of a quality issue transferring it from the PS4 as it stands scant wisdom huh Oh yeah, I'm just an immortal dragon being. Uh, I don't, I don't got that much wisdom. We diving in? Hmm, just less eggs. I guess the combatants fought and destroyed one another and only half of them remain now, right? Because there were 90 combat groups originally, right? Because there were 89... There were 89 beings to test plus our group, so that's 90 beings. So, you know, 45 pairs. So now they should be down to... What, like 20... 22 pairs? Or something, or no? I guess it would be down to to 45 groups, and uh, so we could have 22 pairs with one odd man out. every result except yours. Look, do these images cause you distress? Please examine them closely. You'll have suitable simulation. You may not exceed your calculated probability of success. Your survival is crucial to my study. Through you, I must continue to explore the contradiction I have discovered in your otherwise impotent kind. The ability to triumph against overwhelming odds is one which I must acquire. Foolish machine, what hast thou to show for all the years that have passed since the culmination of our war? 
not save thy continued existence. Hast thou no thought of what befalls thy home star? Your attempts to provoke me will not succeed. I will follow my programming. Fight when evolve. Then I will return to... Bloop, bloop. Error. Accurate rendering of planetary label impossible in current mode of communication. Terminating exchange and returning to priority experiment. Alterations to equipment parameters detected. Recalculating projected combat capabilities. Blip. Complete. I will now commence recording your practical performance. Proceed, Alpha Group. Overcome the obstacles in your path and reach the end of the course constructed for you. Seems we have our orders. Shall we cut a path through the chaff, then? Hmm. Alpha's got cards. Are we in an instance battle? I don't recall entering one. Well, maybe I did it without thinking. I guess I did. Ear itches. Put the headset on for so long now. Rotor, huh? We gonna get the Final Fantasy VI references? Cause these are a Final Fantasy VI reference. a lot of monitors. And we're just with Alpha and Midgard Swarmer. says goodbye. Fortunately for you, I came prepared for the occasion. <laughs> what a perfect opportunity to test my latest creation. Oh, 
his hammer from Praetorian. And his armor. Helmet included. Behold. The Mark 48 Iron Nero. Complete with a new and improved Mighty Mjolnir gun hammer. Step aside, Garland, and bear witness to the devastation. But this time he's fighting with us. Iron Nero, huh? I suppose I should let him show off a little bit, maybe. Not like they can actually hurt me. Boom! Yeah, he does, he does a crap ton of damage. Next 27k to everything. Which, that's like level 80 level. Uh, you know, level 80 amounts of strength. So I'm gonna blow up all the, the monitors again. Aluma. Hey, that's a boss from Final Fantasy VI. Can you get your face right, Dad Aluma? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> hmm. But I guess this time he pulled enemies right out of Final Fantasy VI. As far as operational duration goes, that was pushing the limit. Still, it should suffice. He boasts that it is but one of many tools at his disposal. Be not deceived by his appearance, like all of Omega's creations, Alpha was chosen for his prowess in battle. Analysis complete. Results match revised projections. At this rate of improvement, you will, f uh, will fail to qualify subjects of note. Midgard Swarmer, your parameters are notably inferior. Dost thou yet believe me the mighty worm I was in life? That incarnation perished long ago. My fate was sealed the moment I delivered my spawn onto this far flung star. Oh, so dragons are aliens. <coughs> that they might be suffered to remain, I did offer up my life unto Hyblin, abiding thenceforth in spectral form, a servant to be summoned in her hour of need. Your account correlates with my records. It explains why I arrived on this planet only to find that my journey's purpose was lost. 
Of necessity, my priority shifted to repairs, even as I searched for a new target of sufficient strength. Yet I still do not understand why you aid these creatures. I should think the reason plain, but mayhap tis not so for a soulless machine such as thee. But thee and thine, by thee and thine was my home laid waste. The sound of thee, thy very scent, visiteth upon me a tempest of rage. I but lend these mortals what little aid I can render. Illogical. If your purpose is to facilitate my destruction, it will require an entity more powerful than you were at your prime. Without the means to muster such might, your presence here is meaningless. The experiment continues. Alpha Group, your next opponent awaits you within the Sigmascape. Enter and commence the contest. Looks like a weird mask. Is that supposed to be Kefka's face? How did they get these boxes here so quickly? <laughs> the Sigma Scape, eh? I just still work analyzing the unspeakable horrors within. Where? Well. As you do it, our new base of operations is up and running. Now what I'd really like to do is delve a little deeper into Omega's past, but as our dragon seems disinclined to indulge my curiosity, we had best focus on the task at hand. Let's get on with conquering the occupants of the, Sig the Sigma Scape, shall we? No slowing down. Very well, very well. Well, there might be some slowdown, since I can't guarantee an instant queue. That is the test world you need to conquer, the Sigma Scape. Without a mask or a face, the castle was certainly a surprise, but this is verging on disturbing. Though we currently have no idea what it might signify, my first instinct is to dive straight into our analysis. The problem being that without a reference point from within the Sigma Scape to start from, we'll have no way of knowing if we're analyzing the correct data. Which means you'll have to go in blind, hardly the best way to enter into a fight, but needs must and all that. Are you up for the challenge? Do we? Can I ask you to join him, Alpha? We seem to be fine out here, but Clyde will need your authorization if he's to do battle inside the test world. Keep your wits about you, savior. Your next opponent could be almost anything. Almost anything, huh? Well, I imagine it's gotta be from Final Fantasy VI. Quick, what? Sigma Escape version 1.0 now accessible. Let's see. What's in need for. Oh, tank is in need. How about that? Okay. Welly, well, well. Wait, whoops. Look at that. See if we can't get in here. We're at 20. Two minutes into the recording, I believe. So we should be. We might be able to get through two or three of these, depending on how long the queue takes. There's the Mark 14 thermo coil boil master again. Kettle is empty. Oh, I guess neither of them uh, have put on a pot of coffee. While we wait on that queue, maybe we can go and progress the main storyline a bit more. The reason the queue takes so long is 
even though tank is in need for what we're queued for, basically because this isn't current a current raid set, um, there's almost no one queuing for it. So, uh, yeah. So we're kind of kind of stuck waiting on basically people to to pick up raid roulette and whatever few people do happen to be doing it or trying to do it. Oh, excuse me. Just had to take a drink there. The real question is, is can we get... Can we get to the Ruby's Bazaar and actually talk to Hancock this time before we get immediately dragged back into the interdimensional rift by the queue? Oh, there's our queue. Well, see if we actually get through this cutscene before people hit confirm. We did not. <laughs> it's okay though, we can come back and get through it. Well, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Japanese do love their trains. Oh. Oh dear. Well, we'll just have to suplex it. I keep seeing that same machinist. He must be one of the guys that's going through the raid set today. <laughs> yeah. Spectacle, isn't it? Ghosts and a train. This is one of the earliest bosses in Final Fantasy VI. It's very memorable because in Final Fantasy VI you have a martial artist who can suplex it. Oh, some people say suplex. I think it's stupid, but whatever. Based on the, the word suplex is based on a French word souffle, which is, which is describes the same technique. Well, that's why you say it's suplex. But according to English pronunciation rules, you would say it suplex. But 
Nah, that's just dumb. Oh, that's the tank buster. Be careful. If you get caught by a ghost, you get taken inside the train. Dialogue this party's giving me is cracking me up. Doom chimney. Put a name for something. Now this part is vaguely interesting. You get this debuff called Throttle. And if you don't jump into a ghost, then you die. But... If no one jumps into ghosts, it eliminates the mechanic. Uh, as long as one person goes through and, and kills their ghost. So, in the old days, even in Savage, you could send a warrior in and they could use their... Uh, their skill to to two shot their ghost basically, and if their load times were good enough and they loaded into that train quickly enough, then uh, you basically circumvent the whole mechanic. And it was really dumb though because uh, it was it was you put the entire thing of the, uh, the raid survival on your shoulders basically. How is that machine is generating so much hate? And that grid on, that's weird. The do or the phantom train goes. Because of the Final Fantasy VI references, this is one of my favorite tiers. Gear that I care about. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, we can get 
uh, I think I three fifty gear out of out of this this raid composition or whatever. So like it can be worth it. I think it's I three three fifty anyway. It might be worth it for uh, like red mage. Traveler from afar, thank you for Doma. Hmm. Strange. What are ghosts doing in a simu simulated reality? Sometimes I think that they meant to straight up incorporate this into the main storyline, but they couldn't come up with a satisfactory way to actually do it with the time they had allotted, so they they did these Omega Raids instead. <laughs> the glorious absurdity of it all. Even you must have managed to smile. One wonders what Omega has in store for you next. A delinquent rowing boat, perhaps? Or an angry cable car? Apparently they have cable cars in Garland Malt. that Omega draws from realms which could be fictional or even other dimensional, we can only guess the source upon which the Sigma Escape is based. But if it was fictional, it seems safe to assume that the author had a bad experience with the train. Unfinished masterpiece. Can we get a random item from this one? I don't remember getting an item from the second Sigma Escape. Phone on a Chardonnay. Not a train this time, but some manner of animated painting. To be perfectly clear, the name refers to more more to an evil spirit that's taken up residence within the picture. The picture part will be key to our strategy. To that end, Nero has thrown together a little something I thought might be useful. thrown together, he says. Do you know how difficult it was to translate your abstract fancy into an actual tool of practical applications? When you've demanded was nothing less than a miracle, and a miracle I have delivered. I seem to recall you insisting on constructing it yourself. Still, credit where credit's due. Well done. Okay, well, what is it? <laughs> History will appreciate my genius. Ahem. To you I present the fruits of my labor, the chocobo brush. I won't confuse you by trying to explain how it works, but suffice it to say that I have adapted the tool to combat the peculiar nature of your rival. Put simply, you will be able to directly influence the space around you by painting pictures. Naturally, this process will require paint. As for the color, subject, and the efficacy of your masterpiece as well, that shall depend entirely upon your own artistic sense. Well, fuck, I'm boned. I can't draw for shit. Colby, back me up! Now, back to you, Garland. Do you notice the absence of a steaming cup in my hand? If you truly value the efforts of your colleagues, you might consider filling the bloody kettle from time to time. Or is that another task his lordship, the chief, can't accomplish without the help of his subordinates? Now listen here, Nero. I apologize for the damn kettle, but this has nothing to do with my upbringing. <laughs> Alpha's like, I'll do it, man. I'll get him the coffee. I can do it. Even if I don't have opposable thumbs. Or he used Alpha's feathers? Very well. 
Well, we'll see how fast we queue in. We've got, what, 21 minutes left? So if we queue in quickly enough, we can... We might be able to get through this fight and the next fight. But that's where it'll have to stop. Because we won't have enough time for all the cutscene jetsam between then and the next set of raids. I am glad to be finally really biting into Stormblood really hard. Uh, although my uploading backlog is actually getting pretty huge. It's much easier to just do the recordings and upload them later. But I haven't been uploading them because I keep forgetting to actually upload them uh, when I go to sleep or when I go to work. So, And I, I honestly kind of don't like uploading them when I'm off at work because if there's an error in the uploading, I, I it makes the list get out of order. There might be a way to rectify that, but by rearranging the list, but... Mm. I'm pretty sure YouTube doesn't let you, like, reorder your videos. Like, you can, you can always order them in the appropriate way in a playlist, but, like, not on your actual channel without, like, taking a video down and, and re-uploading them in the proper order, I don't think. But that's been such an awfully long time since I had that occur that I'm not really sure. Urgent missives, yada yada, coffer coffer, Afanad, apology. This is where the Q popped last time. We already took care of that, Tataru. Wait, how how were you ready to give Taru straight up cash money, but now you like that that it, it's like pay pay Clyde some money? You're like, uh, I can give you knowledge. Oh look, we actually get armor coffers. Um, well, I don't particularly care about any of these coffers because I already did gear upgrades for all these. I'm trying to remember how they look. I think striking looks the best in my my mind's eye. But I don't actually care about those, so those are going to be like seal bait or gill bait or something. Proved easier than I thought. Well, that's usually the size of it, I suppose. Can you truly remember nothing? Nothing at all? Hmm. Were we friends? Yes! We were good friends, you and I. 
In fact, I've brought you a gift. I pray that one day soon, as you gaze into that mirror, you will remember the woman staring back at you. I saw a mirror like that in the Tokyo National it's Museum. So pretty. It's also got like a crescent Who moon flare. kind of hard to see because her fingers her left hand is sort of obscuring the lower part of the crescent but there's a crescent moon flourish there on the back of the mirror meanwhile in the imperial capital so we can never get away with not have without having a meanwhile got a midlander doctor Big son of a bitch. How are you feeling, my lord? Ugh. Fine, now leave me. What the fuck? Well, I mean... All he did was slit his throat, so... Maybe he regenerated. Like Superman or some shit. Gosetsu mm. mm -hmm. and Suyu. Now these coffers I could care about. Particularly the casting coffer, so. <laughs> but Cochin don't hoard crystals. vacuum out my PS4's dust vents again. Even though I've been laying it horizontally now to have it quiet, it's it's loud again. Of course, it has been on, like, for at least, oh, I don't know, like, I guess about 10 hours? Oh yeah, Sigma Escape. It's about time. This is probably the last battle that we're gonna get through, cause we've only got like 13 minutes left on the recording. At least if this last DPS actually, you know, presses the Q button. Press the Q button. Press the Q button, dude. There you go. That's a nice painting of a young lady. Ah, what a splendid atelier. Look around you, hero. Plenty of things in which to dip that brush. She looked a lot younger in the picture. There's that machinist again.
Air shard or nothing. He has no positional. And neither did the Phantom Chain, come to think of it. This was a really good tier for Monk back in the day. Uh, my, was my Blackest Knight on too late? Or did it just not do that much damage? He also shoots the, uh, he, he auto-attacks both tanks. That's one thing that's kind of neat about this fight. I'm trying to remember, though, if that was the first boss to do that. I think it may have been. You're supposed to stand behind the rock, but you can sort of stand inside of it. Keep up time. The things Melee gotta do in this game are fucking ridiculous. Does it twice? Huh. 
as you can see though, it's a pretty cool fight. Pretty easy though. The Savage mode is almost exactly the same. Just less telegraphs, a couple more mechanics. In fact, the Savage Mode version of, of Shard Nook here is considered to be one of the easiest Savage Mode fights of all time. Uh, only superseded in that regard by Alta Rote, uh Savage. So. I guess some cool boots, maybe? Uh, Yeah, I think we're pretty much out of time. Uh, we won't, won't be able to get any more fights in, but we might be able to unlock the next one. <laughs> well, field tests are fun. Why are we leaving somebody alone again? That is not... That is not cash money. Bad said bad. Well, I think they're well enough to... They're still on their, like... Convalescent clothes. Yeah, like a dumbass I did. Should be keeping an eye on Nero, but no. recently learned that the kettle does not, in fact, fill itself. Petting the goggles. Oh, potions, huh? Meanwhile, at the coffee station. <laughs> 